So you have a Moto G 5G, the 2022 model, and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is on. Maybe you can receive phone calls. Maybe you feel it vibrating. Maybe you can hear yourself getting notifications in. Or if you want to know for sure, just go ahead and grab your charging cable. Take note that this one here is fixed, but let's pretend it's a black screen here. So even if you plug it in, you should feel it vibrate, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Nothing to do with taking a phone apart. All of you guys can do this right here at your home, okay? And if you guys follow every single step, at least 75% of you guys have a working screen by the end of this video, okay? So first thing is this. Again, let's pretend my screen is black here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna restart it using only the power button, okay? So what we're gonna do is press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see the Motorola logo appear on the screen, then we can let go, okay? So we'll do this together. Here's the power button here. Ready, set, go. Press and hold. Keep on holding, do not let go. Pretend my screen here is totally black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding on to that power button, waiting for that Motorola logo to appear. Still holding, come on. Where's, the, oh, Motorola logo. Go ahead and let it go. Let it boot up and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If you still have a black screen when it boots up, then we're gonna to go to step number two. Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is this. If you have a case on here, take the case off. Next thing is this, so you have the power button here. What we wanna do is just press the power button and kind of hard three times. One, two, three. Okay, three times is enough. If you do more than that, then, then you may call the emergency hotline, okay? Basically what I did was, um, in case if it was stuck or jammed, maybe there's water in there, coffee or soda, or sweat or whatnot, okay? Now that I did that, next thing is this. We're gonna go ahead and give the phone some power, so we're gonna plug it in. Oops, let me do it again. So go ahead and plug it in. Now we're gonna wait for three seconds, okay? So it's plugged in and it's charging, okay? So wait three seconds. After three seconds, while the screen is still totally black here, while it's charging, same thing from here. We're gonna press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see the Motorola logo, okay? So again, it's charging. Between my, pretend my screen is totally black here. Here's the power button, ready, set, go. Press and hold and keep on holding. Do not let go until we see the Motorola logo appear on the screen. Still holding onto the power button. Between my screen is black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto that power button, hoping for that Motorola logo to appear. There it is right there. Go ahead and let go and wait for it to boot up and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna to go to step number three. All right, so you still have a black screen, no problem. Let's go ahead and unplug it now. Now, next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and hold the phone like this and what we're gonna do is what I call the tap method. We're gonna hold the phone like this. We're gonna use two fingers and we're gonna tap all over the screen and all over the back. And the whole premise behind this is it's possible you have something slightly dislodged, maybe a little ribbon that's slightly disconnected. A little tap can pop that into place, okay? So let's pretend I have a black screen here. Hold the phone, grab two fingers, and we can start off on the screen, it doesn't matter. So we'll start off on the screen here and you wanna tap kinda of hard, okay? Keep going. And sometimes if you're doing this, all of a sudden the screen's gonna turn on. Sometimes you may get a white line. Sometimes you may get like a half a screen. But just keep going unless the whole screen turns on and stays on, okay? So keep tapping like this. Keep tapping, turn it over. Same thing on the back, okay? You wanna tap kinda of hard, even all around the lens. If you don't wanna get your camera lens dirty, you can put like a cloth on there. And you wanna tap all around there too. All on the side, on the edges, all over. All over. Now turn it over, tap on that power button and see if your phone is on or the screen is on. If the screen is still black, then from here, same thing. Remember, press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see the Motorola logo, then let go of the power button, okay? Hopefully you guys are up now. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible step. Okay, next step here, what we're gonna do is what I call the smack method. Why? Because I want you to smack your phone. So basically I want you to hold your hand out like this and I want you to smack the back of the phone and the screen, okay? This is the whole premise behind the tapping. You may have like a, a, a ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a, one little smack and pop it into place, okay? Doesn't matter what side we start on. We'll start off on the screen here. If you don't want to smudge up your screen, you can put like a cloth in there, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do is pretend my screen is totally black here. And what I'm gonna do is just smack it like this and also on the back side or the bottom side of the screen as well. Go ahead and give a couple of whacks 
then go ahead and tap that power button and see if your screen is on okay again you may get like half a screen you may see some white lines or the whole screen may turn on if the screen turns on automatically and it stays on then there you go you're good to go okay if, if it's uh, still black here it's no problem now we're going to start on the back of the phone okay you want to give it a couple whacks also on the bottom of the back grab your phone tap that power button see if the screen is on if the screen is still black from here then the same thing remember press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear then let go okay hopefully you guys are up and running if not we're going to go to the next possible solution so your screen is still black no problem so what we're going to do here now is what I call the massage method okay same premise behind the tapping and the smacking okay except this time we're actually going to massage the phone so you can go in and get a cloth if you don't want to smudge up your screen and really just use like a, some kind of cloth or something but basically I want you to hold the phone like this have your two thumbs out and what I want you to do is press so I'm pressing I'm pressing the back as well okay press press just keep pressing if you hear a little click then go ahead and tap your power button your screens probably on okay anyway if not no problem keep pressing pressing give it like a nice massage all over then tap your power button see if the screen is on still off no problem then we're gonna do the same thing on the back here okay remember you want to go ahead and press 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 all over all over that back all around this camera lens as well okay you want to get in there press 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 turn the phone over tap on that power button and see if your screen is on if it's still black here no problem press and hold that power button do not let go until you see the Motorola logo then let go okay hopefully your screen is up and running now if not we're going to go to the next possible solution okay so the last option I have for you besides trying to perform a factory reset is what I call the freezer method why because I want you to put your phone into your freezer so go ahead and grab your phone where it's like nice and naked like this go to your freezer put this in your freezer leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes after 15 to 20 minutes grab your nice cold icy phone out of the freezer tap on that power button and see if your screen is now working if it's still a black screen from there while the, fo the phone is nice and cold press and hold that power button do not let go until you see the Motorola logo appear then you can let go okay now here's the thing if you guys tried all of the steps and your phone still has a black screen then what I would recommend is start back from step one step two step three go all the way down to the last the last step the freezer method doesn't work try it four times five times try it at least a seven times okay sometimes the seven times is the charm anyway if you guys try to at least seven times at least 75 percent of you guys should now have a working screen okay if this works for you give me a thumbs up and comment which method or which uh, combo of methods you think work for you okay good luck guys